Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. I want to do something in my beautiful rainbow journal again. And I'm still in my orange rainbow, orange rainbow color <laughs> journal, I wanted to say. Um, so let's get it out. I still need to do all of this so I can play in this for a long, long time to come. Okay, so we are now over here. So it did bleed through a little bit last time. Um, shall I do one page or two? Because I, what I want to do is just wait a second. <laughs> right, I needed to get this. Um, I want to make something like this. Just a little background with all kinds of stuff on it. Um, and then stamp on it and cover it up with black again. Well, that's clear, isn't it? <laughs> I know what I want to do. This time I really know what I want to do. First, uh, well, I need lots of paint and I need some paper that I can use to put over here. And uh, I don't have a spot for it yet. So where did I put it? Okay, I really have no idea where it is. So um, I'm just gonna take two new pieces of paper. But, uh, well, normally I take pieces of paper that I um, throw out that are you know, from a printer and you printed something on it, didn't go well. Start, I never use new blank sheets, except for today. Okay, what do I start, want to start with? I've got some water, I'm going to put it over here. I've got a brush. Oh, and I've got some paint. Shall I just use my favorite colors? So, you know, pink, bubblegum pink, something orange. What's this? Pure sunshine. And this one, or maybe just really bright blue. A really bright blue is nice as well. I always go for this. Are these the same? No, this is London blue. This is Hawaiian blue. Um, <laughs> these are my favorite colors. And then, of course, green. Okay. I also want to use some shimmer paints, but that's for later on. First, I'm going to start with shaking them. I'm going to shake And now, for the rest of the day, I'll have a shake, baby shake, in my head. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, look at this. Um, so, what am I going to do? Just something like this. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> so, it doesn't really matter what I do because, uh, like I said, I'm going to cover it up with black. Uh, so that you can see parts of it. So it's not that I'm going to cover up everything. Otherwise, this would be nonsense to do. It's still nonsense to do, but I do like it. Just some stripey, stripey thingies. Just a little bit more. Mm. Well, maybe I'm going to speed up a bit of this because, you know, it might take a while before this is filled. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Next color. What's the next color? Gonna be pink, of course. Do I need to dry it in between? Well, I think it's almost dry. So let me just clean this a little bit. And my brush a little bit. <laughs> so now we go for pink. But now my brush is actually a bit wet. Well, let's find out what that does. It doesn't really matter what you do at this stage because you won't really see that much of it. Oh, ooh, I like it when, because it's a little bit wet. It's so creative. This is fun to do, guys. Just, just this. Just hang on. Oh my gosh. For the Dutch people, een klotetje roze. People of my age. And a klotetje roze. That's from a children's <laughs> series I used to watch when I was little. I loved it. Okay, someone was painting and just put a little bit of pink over here and a little bit of pink over there. Awesome. I love it. So, should I dry it now or shall I just go over it with a different color and see what it does? <laughs> Do I want blue in here? 
because I really do like this. Let's just go for a little bit of green. And you know what? I am going to dry it a little bit. Although... It's almost dry, guys. So, bit of green. Bit of green over here. Bit of green over here. Bit of green over here. I'll speed up uh, little parts I'm gonna speed up now so you'll just, I'll just tell you what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna speed it up otherwise this is gonna be a very very long video this has by the way a bit of an autumn feel am I going to go come in with blue or something totally different okay I can do a bit of blue or I can go for really really bright <gasps> I do that maybe both first a little bit I should have used this orange I mean oh boy <laughs> I'm gonna use a bit of this yellow first I'm gonna use a bit of the yellow oh I can also use shimmer paints I wanted to use shimmer paints I'm not gonna use this one I'm gonna use a shimmer paint where are my shimmer paints oh this is so bright Oh, okay, this is awesome. I hope you're gonna see lots of this. <laughs> this is shimmer paint. Red shimmer paint. Do I have blue shimmer paint? Yes, I do. <laughs> blue shimmer paint. Now, to be honest, um... I want to use stamps on this. Wait a second. Okay, I've got a suitcase filled with stuff like this. Foam stuff. For my jelly plate or for this. I've got two eyes. And a moustache. <laughs> I'm going to stamp a moustache on here. And these are just two circles now. Because it's a bit autumn-like. A leaf and a swirl. And I've got a flower. Am I going to use all of them? Well, perhaps. I'm going to start with a swirl. And the swirl I'm gonna use blue for, or shall I use the moustache with blue? <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. Let's do the swirl. So I've got a bit of shimmer paint on my craft sheet and I'm just gonna paint it. So let's see what this does. I'm just gonna put it over here. Ooh, okay, I do like that. Now this is a swirl I made um, I made I didn't make this one I bought this one it's a kit set uh, this is like well you can imagine that the moustache and the eyes are uh, from a kids play stamp set and this one as well this was actually for baking this is for on a cake <laughs> and it was on sale and I thought I can use that not to bake but to make something really nice with it so I'm gonna put another soil over here a bit in the middle Oh, I hope this is gonna shimmer so much and I hope you'll see it because like I said part of it it's gonna be covered up <laughs> with black paint okay let's stamp some more swirls let's clean my brush so now what do I do now I will use a moustache, a moustache. Now first, I'm gonna use a moustache with black. This I'm gonna do with. Is this shimmer? No. Do I have more shimmer paints? Shimmer paint. Oh. But I want this one. Shimmer paint. Post box red. Oh, this one didn't really work. And I bought a new one. And to be honest, there's no ball in here. Oh, this is the new one. That's... I'm not sure if this is going to work. You know, let's try the old one first. That's not really good, is it? <laughs> yeah, Ooh, that's just weird. It's dried out. It's totally dried out. Let's see if I can get some. If 
I can smear some on here still. Not how it's supposed to be. Okay. A leaf over here, but it is nice. Here we go. I need to open the other one, see if this one works better next time. And otherwise, I need to contact Ranger. Uh, some of you said you should just call contact Ranger. And I think I might. I hope the other one works, but this one doesn't work. And I have no idea where I bought it. It's been so, does it shimmer? A little bit. Um, I want to do this one with black. Do I use more shimmer paint? It is really bright. <laughs> uh, oh, I did already use this one. I wanted something a bit dark, darker. Do I have black shimmer paint? <gasps> I have black shimmer paint. Mustache. I don't think I ever used this one. Yes, I did. It didn't shimmer that much when I did. A moustache. A moustache. <laughs> That's just stupid. I like it. <laughs> right. Now this is just fun. This is just fun. A moustache. One over here. One over here. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah. <laughs> this is just weird and funny. A moustache and one more over. Here. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like it. Let's just dry all of this and then I think I'm gonna go over it with some stamps and some pens and it is a bit bright. Oh, well, I'm going for bright. I think I am going to use a little bit of this. This is just a wallpaper with some structure in it and I thought that it would be nice to use this, but uh, with what color? I want a bit darker color. Um, maybe purple or something. Why not? Let's go for purple. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my craft sheet. And mix it a bit with my brush. Okay. And then just put my brush over here. Dab in it and just do this. Does it work? It works! Oh, that's nice. I didn't think it would work, <laughs> but it does. Now you can also maybe you can, you can do this. No, okay. Uh, you can also use a stamp that looks like this, but I just had this wallpaper for a while and I thought let's just do something with it. And now I did. It, it's on my hands and everywhere. <laughs> uh, to be honest, right? Uh, it didn't make it darker like I wanted it to be because it's just little little dots. So what I'm gonna do is use the rest and make dots like this. Just put it on your paper and swirl it around because you know every page needs dots, <laughs> lots of dots. And so you also use the rest of the ink you have. Now it's getting to be a kind of a Karin page. It's busy. I like it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm going to clean everything and I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to get my pens. Okay, so now we have this and it shimmers a little bit. Uh, the red doesn't shimmer at all, by the way, so it really doesn't work. But oh well, I really do like this. But it's not enough. I think I want some white on this page and some black. So I'm just going to... Is this... Let's just make some swirls. Ooh, it's a bit too big. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I wanted to make swirls and stuff like this. No, what did you do, Karin? You just, you know. <laughs> it isn't really that nice anymore, is it? Now, like I said, I am going to do something with it, but I just thought maybe I can use one page, make it black, and the other page leave like this. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> oh, well. Um... I, it is what it is. I just did this. So, um, will you see white on here? Not really. It's not dark enough. I can do some over the moustache. But I don't think you'll see it. So, well, that's no use, actually. But still, I'm doing it. You don't really see it. Maybe on the purple. Oh, that's nice. Make a little swirl. Like you see. A very busy page. So now I'm thinking, do I want to leave one page um, as busy as this as a background? I don't know yet. Did I do them all? Hmm. I think I need to stamp a bit more black on it. I do like the stripes, but uh, this was this pen was a bit too bold. Oh well. It happened. I wanted to scribble a bit like I do, uh, like to do a lot, but I, uh, meh, I like the little stripes better. <laughs> I hope this is going to work out. Uh, so what did I want to do? A stamp. I'm going to find some stamps. Okay, I also have a new battery, so the camera angle is a bit different, but oh well. Now I want to stamp over it a little bit more, but not too much, because I want to use these stamps over it. Flowers. And if I have too much going on over here, you won't see the flowers anymore. So, still I'm going to stamp a little bit. This is the Raspberry Ripple. And I am going to... What happened to my Raspberry Ripple? It looks really weird. Okay, uh, what shall I use? These are my favorite little stamps. Let's see if it still works. Yes, it does. Just a little bit darker. <laughs> A little bit more busy. Yay, here we go again. <laughs> because it's not busy enough. <laughs> but I do like it. Okay. I have no idea what this is. And maybe a bit not quite navy. Not quite. Um I think I want to use this little swirl. To make it even more busy. <laughs> Guys, what am I doing? I, you know what, I have no idea myself, but I do like the way this starts to look. Actually, these are really nice stripes. Way better than the scribble stuff I did, but oh well. Okay, so now what? Now I'm going to use this then. I'm going to use this. And this. <laughs> because like I said, I wanted to make two pages out of it. Now I really... Which page, page do I like best? This one? Or, I like this one better. So this one I'm going to cover up with black paint. Okay, I want this one over here, so I can use my block for that. But the question is, can I do this in one go? And the answer is, no, I don't think so. Still, I'm gonna try. <laughs> ink it up real, real good. So, am I going to use my archival ink? I really love this ink. It's usually very, very black. So, I'm gonna ink it up real, real, real good. Because, guys, somehow I can't really stamp anymore. Wait a minute. My gosh, a lot of ink. So, fingers crossed, because somehow I just can't really stamp that well anymore. <laughs> okay, this is a workout for me. My hands are not going to be happy at the end of the day. Oh! 
quite nice. Now you don't really, really see it that well, but I am going to paint around it and then I'm going to go back in with a paint pen like this. So I need something else. I've got a flower over here. I've got a flower over here. Will this work? I don't think so. I think this is too much. Uh, I'm going to do a little flower over here or a leaf. Let's see if this one will work. I can do one flower over here. I'm going to do two little flowers. Now this block works best for me because it is very thin and uh, it bends easily. So I can push harder on it. Uh, so here I go. Whoop. Over here. If this was a really thick block, uh, this wouldn't do much. Okay. Phew! So, I'm gonna clean my desk. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do... I'm not sure if this is. Uh, I'm gonna do this on this video. Because we did quite a lot. <laughs> it's a bit hard to see what we did. <laughs> Wait, let me show you up close. I've got this really lovely bracelet. Up close, we did this. It shimmers. It's got a moustache. And it's very busy. I mean, what do I want with this? I mean, look at it. Well, what I want... <laughs> I just put this on my wrist so that uh, it wouldn't stick as much as it does. So I can tear it off without tearing the paper. What I want to do... Is put it over here. Hopefully it's a bit okay. Like this. And now I'm going to take out some black paint. Which paint will be the best? First uh, this. And black paint. Hmm. Where is my paint? <laughs> Okay guys, I think I'm gonna stop this video over here because it's been a long video. So uh, you have no idea what it's gonna be yet. But if you liked it so far, give it a thumbs up. I uh, need to clean this thumb. And uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And leave a comment down below what you think. It's a mess, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, that's what I think too. So, see you next week. And all that's left to say now is... Groetjes from Holland. Greetings from Holland. Bye.